Okay, chapter number six of linear integrated circuits, we are going to discuss comparators. Now, comparators are circuits that are used in um, many electronic devices. The basic function of comparators are to compare the input. Um, all of you know, of course, that um, integrated the uh, op amp is um, a, a circuit which is a differential amplifier. So basically comparators which are made out of uh, differential amplifiers, op amps or any other uh, differential amplifier, they compare the two inputs that are coming at the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal and then based on that comparison they will generate either a high voltage or low voltage. So that's the basic function of comparators. Again, they're used in many, many uh, different type of circuits. Some of them I have uh, put down in the notes that you can read. For example, they're used in DACs, the smoke detectors, phase lock loop, which is used in the FM circuits, and um, quite a few power electronic circuits. But there are just very few of them uh, that I'm putting them, I'm putting down here, but they are used in many, many other circuits. <clears throat> so the basic concept of comparator uh, that use operational amplifier specifically we're going to discuss initially with 741 operational amplifier and we know that the open loop gain of 741 is about 200,000 typical gain and any input voltage any small change of voltage between the non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal it can be amplified through that open loop gain to produce a very high output. Now remember differential amplifier, the basic function is that it takes the difference of the voltages that are present at the non-inverting and inverting and multiply that difference by open loop gain to produce an open loop output. Now based on the reference uh, voltages of your operational amplifier. Generally we put positive 15 volt and negative 15 volt. So based on those voltages your saturation level can be 13 volt, 13.5, 14 volt, you know 14.5, 15 volt, whatever. So the voltage at the output cannot go beyond that saturation level. So as soon as positive voltage or as long as positive voltage at the input is greater than the negative voltage, the output is going to have the positive saturation level, open loop we are talking about. And if the negative, non, uh, the inverting terminal has voltage more than the non-inverting terminal, then the output is going to saturate at the negative side. So one will be considered as a high voltage which is the positive saturation level and the other will be considered as the low voltage the negative saturation level and for digital you can assume one and zero so we are going to look at basic non-inverting open loop comparator very simple again as i just discussed this is your circuit right here and since it is non-inverting your input is at the non-inverting input inverting input is grounded a is about 200,000 as you can see and this is a simple um, calculation that shows you that the output of course will be equal to A times VD. VD is what? VD is the differential voltage, the voltage difference between the positive and negative input <coughs> and in this case of course VD will be equal to V input since in inverting input is grounded. So we want to figure out what will be the input voltage for which the output is going to saturate, either positive saturation or negative saturation, right? So that voltage from this, if we assume that the saturation level is 13 volt or negative 13 volt, that voltage is going to come out to be about 65 microvolt, positive negative. So positive 65 microvolt is going to push the transistor into the positive saturation region and negative 65 microvolt or smaller than that is going to push it into the negative saturation region. So high level V set and low level negative V set. Now again observe the voltage is quite quite small. That means for practical purpose 
we can assume that it is pretty much zero and we can say that that your um, that um, the curve is simply like that positive values and negative values so instead of choosing 65 microvolt we choose basically that you have zero voltage that is as soon as it will cross the zero volt it will become positive v in we are talking about the output is gonna hit v set and as soon as it's gonna become negative the output is gonna hit negative v set so this is our general assumption practical assumption and this practical assumption is very valid because again this voltage is just too small okay so non-inverting open loop converter we just um, discuss how do they work um, and now if you don't want the output to change levels at the origin and when the voltage become positive or negative you can add a small bias or reference at the negative side at the non-inverting uh, at the inverting input so now what's going to happen you have the vd positive negative now whenever v input will be greater than v reference then the output then vd is going to become positive and the output is going to hit positive saturation voltage and as long as input is less than v reference then vd will be negative and the output is going to be negative v reference and that's what you see in this uh, characteristic curve so when v input is equal to v reference i mean it's going to be v reference plus 65 microvolt but again we are ignoring 65 microvolt so v input equals to reference the output is v saturation for all those values and as long as it is less than v reference the output is negative v saturation okay so let's look at the same thing the inverting open loop comparator instead of inver uh, non inverting open loop comparator exactly the same concept the only difference is that your input is going to be applied at the inverting terminal so positive is grounded and input is applied at the inverting terminal right here so again you have vd over here positive negative so as as long as input is less than the ground vd will be positive and output will be output will be high so it will be high for all the values as long as v input is less than zero and when v input becomes greater than zero then vd will become negative and the output will be negative v saturation so far so far um, small values negative values the output is high and for positive values output is low and that's why it's called inverting uh, open loop comparator again if you don't want the transition to happen at zero then uh, you can add a reference voltage at the non-inverting input you can add either a positive reference voltage or negative reference voltage here i'm showing you a negative reference voltage so once again when vd which in this case is going to be negative v reference minus v i when this quantity is going to become is going to be greater than zero the output will be high and when this quantity is less than zero output will be low <coughs> so the transition is happening at negative v reference so as long as your input is less than negative v reference right this quantity is going to be high and your output is going to be via saturation but when your v input becomes greater than v reference this quantity is going to become zero uh, this quantity is going to become uh, uh, gre uh, greater than or less than zero sorry and the output is going to go to negative v saturation comparators are also called wave shapers as you will see soon the applications uh, for example if you have a sinusoidal input it can be converted or or any type of shape can be converted into 
a rectangular output high and low right so they are also called wave shapers whether you have the sinusoidal input triangular input sawtooth input any positive and um, negative uh, values basically uh, any wave form at the input can change its shape to rectangular waveform and we will see those application shortly so next um, there is an example let's look at this example real quick um, in this example you see that how the uh, this is your non-inverting um, open loop comparator because the, the non-inverting input is connected to VN. So here you see that you have a 5 volt peak sinusoid and the output of course is going to be as soon as um, the output becomes positive, uh, the input become positive the output is going to go to the positive saturation so you know starting at zero and all the positive values the output is V saturation and when it will be negative the output is negative V saturation so the sinusoidal waveform is converted into a square waveform and that's the application of a wave shaper example 6.2 is when we are putting a reference voltage at the non-inverting input and input is given at the inverting input so it's a inverting open loop comparator so how are we gonna calculate the V reference over here using the voltage division at this point so this is your V reference right and you apply the voltage division and you're gonna get negative 3 volt at this point so this is V positive this is the reference voltage so once again VD is here uh, positive negative and VD in this case is negative 3 which is here minus V i. So as long as this quantity is less than 0 output is going to be negative V set and this quantity is greater than 0 output will be V set. So for all the values of V input which are less than negative 3 VD will be greater than 0 and output will be V set for all the values of V input which are greater than negative 3 VD is going to become negative and the output is going to saturate okay so let's see uh, I didn't read the okay so the same 1 kilohertz uh, sinusoid is applied and the peak value is 6 volt okay so um, I'm calculating basically when the output is going to be negative 3 volt first I'm calculating that um, and uh, from that I calculated that when your angle the sinusoidal angle is negative pi by 6 that is negative 30 degrees and negative 150 degrees the value of the sinusoid is going to be negative 3 volt that is half of 6 so this is the period negative 3 so this is your axis so this is negative 30 and then this is negative 150 so output will be high between this period so this is 120 degrees right so output will be high for 120 degrees that is one third of the total time period total time period of course is 360 degrees one sine wave so for one third of the time period output is high and rest of the time output is low so the duty cycle is one third that is 33.3% and this is the output <coughs> input is sinusoid 6 volt peak and this is the output when it is negative 3 volt this is negative 3 and then again when it goes to negative 3 right here so between these two the output is lower than negative 3 in this whole area it is lower than negative 3 hence the output is going to be positive V saturation and outside this range input is greater than negative 3 so the output is going to be negative V saturation okay. and in the next video we're going to discuss the uh, comparator with the positive feedback which are called Schmidt trigger comparators